it's and why are you acting so nervous? And why are you sweating so much? And why do you look so hungry? And no, no, wait, it's not what you think. This is a big misunderstanding. You've got to believe me. I listen, I am telling you, you better listen to me, SpongeBob. The last of us three is coming, Squidward. Got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and I am back for another video discussing The Last of Us Part 3. So since my last individual video covering just Part 3, a lot has happened. We got the news of factions being cancelled. That's done. We just got the release of The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I've been playing through it, doing the Lost Levels main campaign, as well as the No Return Survival, but I still got some stuff with that, so that is still being covered on this channel and we've got the news that Naughty Dog has two new single-player projects in development which isn't really a surprise or shouldn't be if you've been following it as much as I have we knew there were multiple projects in development besides the cancelled now factions project in today's video I'm going to be discussing some of the most recent rumblings and news in regards to the potential last of us part three now again I reiterate this point a lot. Just because Neil and Naughty Dog haven't said anything doesn't mean The Last of Us Part 3 isn't in development. Doesn't mean it's being worked on. They flip-flop. They're gonna lie. It's, it's obvious that a Part 3 is likely coming. I'm 99% certain of it. As if it will be their next game? That's something I will discuss in this video and I've discussed in numerous videos. I don't know if that's necessarily gonna be the case. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Turn about that near 40% of people that are subscribed by hitting the subscribe button. The notification bell have it set to all. We almost have 100,000 people on the channel that have all the notifications hit. Do that so you don't miss any videos. Also, consider remembering you get early access to some videos and a bunch of other perks. Definitely consider it by hitting the join button. We can go for 1,500 likes on this video. I greatly would appreciate it. And let's just get straight into it. For years now, I have been discussing a potential Last of Us Part 3. It goes all the way back to when Neil Druckmann confirmed an outline was written from the game. I think it's been now three years ago. So we made a lot of videos d discussing, you know, statements, news, whatever you want to call it. And it's been obvious since that day when Neil said that there was an outline written that there is a huge possibility that we could end up seeing a Last of Us Part 3. Now since then, a lot's happened, as I mentioned earlier in this video. A multiplayer game that we were supposed to be getting in the Last of Us universe that never came to be. Cancelled. A remaster of Part 2. A remake of Part 1. An HBO show that had a pretty successful first season and now is going to get a second season that is going to release in 2025. And likely going to have two or three seasons covering the second game. And then probably, if you're playing five to six seasons, what else would be filled in there, a third game. Why do you think Naughty Dog and Sony have been doing so much with the IP? Because it seems pretty obvious to me that we're setting up something major in the future. You've remastered the second game. You've remade the first game. You've made a show on now the first game and now you're gonna be making it on the second game. If alarms are not ringing your bell here, I think you got something a little crazy with you. Why do you think they're doing all this? Money? Sure. But what else? You're setting up something in the future. You're setting up the trilogy. Maybe the conclusion to this story. The final chapter. Now there's been credible leakers like Viewer Anon, Daniel RPK, other people have said Neil Druckmann's next project, because he has on his Twitter and Instagram bios, director of that future game. His project is claimed to be The Last of Us Part 3. And the other new single player project is a brand new IP, which oh, we're going to have a video on that pretty soon. There's been some rumblings about that as well. I'm sure we're going to be hearing about that pretty soon. So one of the most recent things we've heard is from the actor that plays Tommy in the games, Jeffrey Pierce. He follows me on social media. Very nice guy. He recently talked about The Last of Us Part 3 a bit because he got interviewed by Dextero and they ended up asking him. So Dextero asked Jeffrey about part three and he said at this point it's not something that has begun in any fashion at least not that I know of and I would hate to set myself up to have expectations about what it would be 
and then have it be something completely different. However, Pierce was quick to add that he has full faith in director Neil Druckmann and knows that when he does receive a script for part three, it'll be perfect. I'm going to trust when Neil hands me a script that it's going to be perfect because that's the way it's been up until now. And when that happens and I'm asked about the last part three, I have to say I have no idea about what you're talking about because he knows how this is. It's been set in, this is how Naughty Dog is. When they are working on a new game, they're not going to say anything about it. They're not going to, the actors aren't going to say anything about it. Nobody's going to confirm it until Naughty Dog says it themselves, or God forbid it gets leaked again, hopefully not. We won't know for sure until that day. Pierce did stress that while he wants to sink his teeth into a part three in the same way fans do, he is also conscious of knowing time is important, comparing its legacy to a beloved film franchise many know and love. I said to Neil, whatever you do, don't do Godfather part three. He's like, don't worry, when the story is there, that's when we will do it. And until then, we're not doing anything which is very, very smart. While Pierce may not know what a part three will look like, he was happy to weigh in on what he as a lover of series hopes comes from a third game. I can speak as an audience member more than a cast member and say I can't wait to play The Last of Us Part Three. Hurry up, Neil. Come on, let's get going. And as an actor, I think it's probably all the same things. But you know, it'll be what it will be when it is. Now, that's very interesting from Jeffrey that he's implied that basically he has not gotten a script yet for part three and that it isn't being worked on in any capacity. Now, again, I love Jeffrey, but I think there's some lying here. Of course, what he's not. If you if you think they're working on part three, do you think he's allowed to say that? Do you think he's going to say that there is not a script. I'm not saying, again, he'd be purposely lying, but more likely than not, he is, and that's okay, because if they are, in fact, working on part three, which pretty much majority of us believe, he, of course he's not going to say that they're working on it, or that there's a script, or that all, you know, he's, he's going to beat around the bush. That's what they have to do. They're not going to say it officially. The one thing I got out of this interview is that regardless, part three is coming one day for sure. Now, as I've told you all in numerous videos, I believe Naughty Dog's next new game that may be revealed this year is that brand new IP that we've been hearing a lot of rumblings about. And again, I'll talk about that a lot more in my next video. Kind of did talk about that about a month ago, but I'll go in individually more into it in that next video. We know Neil's last statement in regards to The Last of Us Part 3 was this. The Last of Us is obviously a world I love deeply and our studio and fans do as well, but I have no comment on this moment of the series future beyond our focus on The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. We have other projects in the works at Naughty Dog and of course Season 2 of The Last of Us HBO. 2027? Maybe 2026 if we're lucky? I mean, it, it does seem like it's going to be following the cycle of Part 1 and 2. End of, end of PS3 cycle into PS4 end of PS4 cycle into PS5, and now with part three, be end of PS5 cycle into PS6. So that's just, a, you know, some of my little thoughts there. We may hear some stuff about part three this year. It is possible if that is in fact their next game. I still do believe it's more like we'll hear a new IP, but we still may hear rumblings about part three. Who knows? But stay tuned, a lot on the horizon. It's, it's 2024 here, so hey, anything's possible at this point. Let me know when you think we may hear about The Last of Us Part 3 and when do you think it's going to release. Let me know what you want to see from it. And let me know what you think of this interview from Jeffrey because this is new. This is something I have not covered on the channel. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's go for 1,500 likes on this video. And I will catch you guys in the next video, hopefully soon. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for 380,000 subscribers on YouTube. I greatly do appreciate it. Go follow us on social media down below. Stay connected. And I'll catch you all later. Peace and love and have a great day. Bye-bye.